Hi everyone and welcome to our channel. Today we'll be exploring some important features of the distance sensor and how you can build and code this sensor into your prototype. This sensor, or the ultrasonic distance sensor, detects the distance between 2 cm to 400 cm, or about 1 inch to 150 inches, of non-contact measurement. Just like sonar, the sensor emits a pulse from the transmitter, labeled T, and returns to the receiver, labeled R. The sensor detects if there's an object nearby by measuring the time it takes for the pulse to return to the sensor after bouncing off an object. This sensor can be used in robotics or devices designed for the visually impaired. The distance sensor has four legs, each with a specific function. The far left leg labeled VCC is the power supply. The next leg labeled trig or trigger is the output pin. The next leg labeled echo is the input pin. And the far right leg labeled G and D is the ground. Now we're going to jump into how to build your ultrasonic sensor. For this activity, you'll need a redboard, a breadboard, a distance sensor, one LED, and seven male-to-male -male jumper cables. To light up an LED using the distance sensor, be sure to follow the step-by-step -step diagram. Keep in mind of how you're connected from the distance sensor to the redboard. G and D is connected to the negative power rail of the breadboard which is connected to the ground of the redboard. The trigger is connected to digital pin 11, the echo is connected to digital pin 12, and the VCC should be connected to the 5 volts. Also be mindful of how your LED is positioned. Make sure the shorter leg of your LED is connected to the negative power rail and the longer leg is connected to digital pin 3 of the redboard. After completing your build, now launch your Arduino IDE and add the following code into your sketch. The code roughly means the constant integer being declared will have a constant value and won't change. For example, the trig pin will always be set to digital pin 11, and the echo pin will always be set to digital pin 12, and the LED pin will always be set to digital pin 3. When declaring a name to a specific pin number, be mindful of spelling, capitalization, and punctuation. Inside the curly brackets of the void setup, the serial begin will send data to the serial monitor at 9600 bits per second. And the pin mode establishes trig pin and LED pin as an output and the echo pin as an input. Inside the void loop, the float distance, get distance, and serial print line all create a variable to store distance values. The serial print indicates distance measurements will appear on your serial monitor. The if-else statement implies that if the distance is less than 30 centimeters, or about 12 inches, your LED will turn on, else the LED will keep off. The delay will pause for 200 milliseconds before looping again. The float get distance is similar to an integer, except that it can include numbers containing decimal points. Floats are ideal for values that need to be more precise. The float echo time is a variable to store the time it takes for a pulse to bounce off an object. The float calculated distance is a variable to store the distance calculated from the echo time. The digital write trig pin high will send an ultrasonic pulse 10 milliseconds long before turning off for 2 milliseconds. The echo time and pulse in echo pin high are commands to see how long it takes for the pulse to bounce back to the sensor. The calculated distance equals time divided by 29 divided by 2 is to calculate the distance of an object that reflected the pulse multiplied by half the speed of sound. The return calculated distance will send back the distance calculated. After completing your code, make sure the redboard is connected to your computer using a USB connection. Also ensure your port is selected to the COM with the highest number. Once connected, you're ready to verify and upload your code. After uploading your code to the redboard, confirm that your distance sensor is functioning correctly by bringing your hand within 30 centimeters or about 12 inches of the distance sensor to turn on the LED. Now move away to turn the LED off. Use your serial monitor to display real-time measurements of the distance your hands are to the sensor. Note measurements will be in centimeters. If your LED is not turning on, don't worry. Recheck your wires to make sure your jumper cables are aligned with the legs of your distance sensor. 
Environments with ultrasonic sounds in the background can interfere with your sensor. So if your LED isn't turning on or off, try a room without fluorescent lighting. Thanks for watching and please let us know if you have any questions in the comment section below. And be sure to check out our other videos on our First Nations Mesa channel.